Welcome to a brief overview of Aladdin. Aladdin is a visualization program integrated with APT. To get started, select an observation and then click the View in Aladdin button. The aperture is displayed in the Aladdin window. In this case, the instrument is Miri. Notice the APT window has changed to display the APT Aladdin controls. To get a better look, Let's load some images. Click the Load DSS button, and now you can see the target. There are several ways to zoom in or out. Click the target, then scroll with the mouse, or click the Zoom tool, move the square over the target, click to zoom in, or shift click to zoom out. You can pan around the window by dragging anywhere in the zoom panel, or click the pan tool and drag directly in the window. If you get lost, you can restore the image to the center in a default size. Uh, hold down the control key and click anywhere in the zoom panel. Moving the aperture is different from panning around the window. If you move the aperture to a different part of the window, APT registers the change as a move to the position of your target itself, as you see registered here in the, in the APT window as a pending change. If you want to commit the change, click Commit. Or if you want to clear the change, click Clear All. And the aperture goes back to its original position. If you look closely, the aperture is represented by two overlapping rectangles. This observation has a two-point dither, so each rectangle represents a dither image. The aperture image is semi-transparent. You can adjust, adjust transparency with the opacity slider on the right here. To hide the DSS images, Click the DSS folder in the Aladdin plane. Aladdin offers a number of catalogs that can be overlaid on your target. Click the folder icon, then select a catalog, in this case Simbad, then click Submit. The Simbad plane is loaded in your Aladdin tree. If you click an object, information about the object is loaded in the measurement pane at the bottom of the window. Or you can select a range of objects and see more information. To detach the pane, click this button. Or to, rem to remove the pane, click the other button. You can drag the aperture to a different part of the target. There are two modes controlled by the Create Position Targets button, or Pause Targs. Moving the aperture with Pause Targs on creates an offset from the target, which is applied as a special requirement. But with Pause Targs off, moving the aperture changes the coordinates of the target itself. Now let's see this in action. Make sure the Create Pause Targs button is on to create an offset. And then use the Select tool to move the aperture to a different part of the target. The coordinates appear under Pending Changes as a pause target value, showing the offset in arc seconds from the original position. Now you have to decide if you want to keep the changes. If you want to get rid of the move, click Clear All or Clear Selected. The pending changes are gone, and the aperture returns to its original position. Now let's make the move again, but this time click Commit. When you commit, the move is added as an offset special requirement. The offset is applied only to the current observation and won't affect other observations.
if you want to get rid of the uh, offset, remove the special requirement, and the aperture returns to its original position. This time, let's make a move with pause targs off. When you move the aperture, the coordinates appear under pending changes, but this time, the change is applied to the RAN deck of the target itself. If you commit these changes, the new coordinates are used for every observation in your proposal with that target. To remove the changes, click Clear All. In this example, the target is M98. We want to rotate the aperture to align with the long axis of the galaxy. Grab a corner of the aperture until you see the rotation icon and then drag it into alignment. The coverage circles can help you visualize your rotation. Click the coverage circles button to show the coverage circles. The small circle shows the area that will always be in the aperture no matter how it is rotated. The large circle shows the area that, that is accessible depending on how you rotate. After the rotation, there are no pending changes in APT. That's because rotation angles are not passed to APT automatically. You have to add the angle yourself, which we will do in a moment. If you want to undo your rotation, click Reset Orients to go back to the original orientation. Now we want to show the orientation in degrees, so click the Orient Ranges button to show the orient circle. Notice the orientation angle is zero degrees. Grab the handle and wait for the rotation icon, and then rotate. The new orientation is 321 degrees. If you need to get a better look at the numbers, you can temporarily hide the DSS plane. Now the numbers are more visible. To add the new angle to your proposal, go back to the form editor and add a position angle range special requirement. First, select Set Using V3. V3 is the reference axis for the observatory and is the, the orientation value displayed by Aladdin. Then enter your new orientation. In most cases, you would enter a range, but for now, let's enter the same value in both the start and the end of the range. Then click OK. If you decide you want to remove your rotation, you can do that by clicking Remove to remove the special requirement, and the aperture goes back to its original orientation, zero degrees. This concludes the Aladdin Overview video, and thank you.